What if there was a dog Pokemon of every type? Let's find out. Hey everyone, Brandon here. Throughout Pokemon's history, we have received many adorable doggo Pokemon. I mean, in this recent generation alone, we got three new lines. And I am talking about dog Pokemon, not Furbait Central over here. Cute quadrupedal doggos like Yamper, Lillipop, or Rockruff. With these parameters in place, we have 11 types to fill, so let's get into it. Starting us off is the ground type. For this, we have Setamut, the Dingo Pokemon, from the Agrios region by Fake Mans. As its classification suggests, it's based on the Dingo. Its ground typing comes from the habitat of the Dingo, with it being able to live in the hot and arid deserts of the Australian outback, though it can be found all over Australia. The Dingo's sandy brown coat also lends itself to the ground type. Setamut love to dig holes everywhere. This leads to many people not liking them, but a large variety of Pokemon are able to find shelter in the holes that Setamut leave unattended. At level 26, Setamut evolves into... Digingo, the Dingo Pokemon. Its mudcake tail has evolved into a hand like appendage that can act as a shovel. Given its name, I'm sure you can tell this tail gets used a lot. This actually refers to an aboriginal myth in which a Dingo digs up an entire watering hole. There is an old Agrios legend that says the Digingo is responsible for digging up the many bodies of water around the region. Next up is the Ice type. For this, we have Furzen, the puppy Pokemon, from the Furin region by Michael Ryan. Furzen is based on the Icelandic sheepdog, whose ancestors were dogs that were brought to the country by Vikings. Furzen will do anything to make their trainers happy. They are easily excited and will pounce on strangers to lick them, which usually ends up freezing the lick recipient. After using a Ghost-type move 20 times, Furzen evolves into... Snowwarg, the imprisoned Pokemon. Snowwarg is based on wargs, a kind of enormous wolf from Norse mythology, the most famous example being Fenrir. Legends say that Snowwarg created its icy chains to bind its true power. Otherwise, everyone and everything around it would be frozen solid. To learn more about Furzen, Snowwarg, and the Firin region, make sure to check out Michael's YouTube channel. For the water type, we have Dewolf, the puppy Pokemon by Masissos region. Dewolf is of course based on Dalmatians, but also firefighters which they are commonly associated with. Dewolf is very helpful. It can smell smoke from over 5 miles away, treat burns, and is even capable of dragging fully grown people and Pokemon out of burning buildings. At level 25, Dewolf evolves into... Raynine, the Aqua Hound Pokemon. Raynine's name is taken quite literally with its now range up like spots, ears, and tail, and raincoat-esque appearance. Raynine is the go-to partner for firefighters. The fire department only needs to bring a single Raynine to extinguish many burning structures. The rest of the doggos in this video were made by myself and various artists who I will credit as we go. So first is the fighting type. For this, with the help of Tubbs AZ, we have Scrap Up, the Scrappy Pokemon. Scrap Up is inspired by the Indian Pariah Dog, which is native to the Indian subcontinent. Indian Pariah Dogs can be both wild street dogs and domesticated house dogs. They are quite intelligent and are commonly trained as guard or police dogs, which is where Scrap Up's fighting type comes into play. You can also see the fur pattern around its wrists emulates the bandaged up fists of a boxer. Scrap Up use their keen sense of hearing to detect nearby Pokemon battles. They will interrupt them and then try to take on both opponents at once. After using the move Bite 20 times, Scrap Up evolves into a Mongrel, the Devil Dog Pokemon, a fighting dark type. Upon evolution, a Mongrel gains the additional inspiration of the Dole, also known as the Asiatic or Indian Wild Dog. The dark striping of its wrist fur continues from Scrap Up, but it also is meant to reference hyenas. Its dark typing and classification comes from the Dole's nickname of the Devil Dog, or the Red Devil, which its horn-like ears and forked tail reference as well. A mongrel's name comes from a Mongol, which means evil in Hindi, and mongrel, which is a dog of no discernible type or breed, which plays into how it is a mix of three different animals. A mongrel tend to start battles they have no intention of finishing. Once they want to be done, they can somehow persuade the Pokemon they are battling to target someone else. For these next two, I worked with Malmistex. So for the grass type, we have Scotry, the leaf dog Pokemon. This little guy is inspired by the Scottish Terrier and the Sky Terrier, which are both Scottish dog breeds. Scottish Terriers were bred to hunt vermin on farms in the lush green Scottish Highlands. And the Sky Terrier hails from the also very lush and green Isle of Sky, so the grass typing felt very natural for it. Also, I thought the longer coats of both breeds looked like they would blend well into a leafy, almost hanging garden-like inspiration. Scotry's name is a mix of Tree and Scotty, the nickname for the Scottish Terrier. Though we already had a partly Scotland-inspired region with Galar, I felt it could use some more representation in Pokemon. And it isn't at all because I'm 33% Scottish. Not at all. Scotry spend their days playing in fields and forests. It is said they used to come from the Galar region before they were moved to a new one out of risk of extinction. At level 26, Scotry evolves into Scythorn, the Kusith Pokemon. As its classification notes, Scythorn is based on the Gaelic mythological hound, the Kusith. 
which is also said to roam around the Scottish Highlands. The Kusith is a wolf-like creature with a dark green shaggy coat and a long curled tail, which lends itself well to a grass type with vines all over it. The thorn also has the inspiration of the Scottish Deerhound, which were bred to stalk and hunt deer, just like wolves do. They also have a darker shaggy coat, like the Kusith. The Thorn patrol deeply wooded forests. If you are perceived as a threat, you will hear a few howls. You will have to act before the third howl or risk its wrath. Next is the Dragon type. For this, we have Dogon and Drakeend. Dogon is based on the Italian Greyhound, and Drakeend is based on the English Greyhound. So how exactly do Greyhounds mix with the Dragon type? Well, aside from their long slender appearance, there is also a mythical beast called the Cali Greyhound. Though it isn't a dog like a Greyhound, the commonality in the naming is what tied these elements together, as well as a few other elements. Italian Greyhounds have been popular for a long time with nobility and royalty, and the Cali Greyhound was invented for a coat of arms of a noble family in the 15th and 16th century. Also, like the Greyhound, the Cali Greyhound is known for its speed and swiftness. Dogon's name inspiration is pretty obvious, but it also sounds like Dogon, which is a synonym for dam, which most European dragons are damned or cursed creatures. Draken's name comes from Drake and Hound, but also sneaks in End in there, as in the End you might meet when facing a dragon. Dogon are kept as loyal companions by nobility in a far-off region. They are said to possess a mystical power that allows them to outpace any prey they hunt. Drakend guard castles with fierce devotion. Their slender bodies allow them to chase prey into confined areas, ensuring they never escape. Due to their incredible speed and elusiveness, Drakend were once thought to be mythical creatures. The rest of the dogs in this video were made with the help of Trevenart. So for the steel type, we have Shibalir, the brave Pokemon. From dragons to the ones that slay them, Shibalir is based on Shiba Inus and knights, both of which are loyal to their master. The pattern of its fur is like that of chainmail, and its tail shape gives the illusion of a little sword. Shibalir's name comes from Shiba, Chivalry, and Chevalier, which is a synonym for knight. Shibalir always keep their armor-like fur shiny and well-kempt. If even one hair is out of place, they can become as unruly as their hair. At level 26, Shibalir evolves into Jinplar, the loyal Pokemon. Jinplar's name comes from Templar, which were an order of Christian knights, the Akita Inu, which are loyal and look like a big fluffy Shiba Inu, and the Korean Jindo, another very loyal dog who bears a resemblance to the Shiba. There are actually two real stories about a loyal Akita named Hachiko and a loyal Jindo named Beiku that inspired this design. Hachiko waited for his owner to get off work at Shibuya Station every day. Even after his owner died at work, he would come back every day for nine more years before passing away himself. There's actually a statue near Shibuya Station that commemorates Hachiko, and it started to get worn down from how many people would pet it. Beiku, on the other hand, was owned by an old woman on Jindo Island. The old woman sold her to a new owner that lived 180 miles away. Somehow, Beku escaped from her new owner and over seven months traveled all the way back to the old woman, who ended up keeping her as a reward for her loyalty. Loyalty is a big aspect of chivalry, so these two dog breeds naturally fit in with a knight theming. Jimplar's tail looks more like a full-on sword, and its fur has a more armored appearance to flesh out this knight aspect. Jimplar are extremely steadfast Pokemon. It will remain devoted to the trainer that caught them even after they are traded. Its steely resolution matches its steely appearance. On to the bug type. I was very curious how to make a bug dog Pokemon, given mammals and insects are two very different things. So I simply put bug dog into Google and it gave me this, a bug, also known as a pug and Boston Terrier mix. So with that in mind, here is Pug Rub and Bee Terrier. The big old goofy eyes of the pug melts perfectly into the giant eyes of a bug like a fly or dragonfly. Pug Rub emulates a grub, but also how little and chubby newborn puppies can be. Oh my goodness, look how cute they are! For Bee Terrier, we went with a more general bug look, giving it elements of caterpillars, bees, moths, and flies. Its name comes from Beetle and Terrier, but also sounds like Bee Terrier. Our channel members actually voted for this to be its name, so if you want to help in the video creation process, get sneaky peeks at upcoming videos and see videos early, become a member. It really helps more videos like this happen. Pug Rub are ostensibly useless without the aid of a Bee Terrier. They survive off of sheer cuteness alone. Bee Terrier carry many diseases that prove fatal to humans and Pokemon alike, though their mouth and teeth are too small to actually bite anything to spread these diseases. Next up is the Poison type. For this, we have Puppest and Bernoxic. They are inspired by St. Bernard's and the ever-famous Stephen King novel and horror movie, Cujo. For those unaware, Cujo is about a St. Bernard that goes rabid and terrorizes a mother and her child. This rabidness is how Puppest and Bernoxic get their poison typing. Their designs also play into the stereotypical depiction of St. Bernard's, who have a barrel of brandy around their neck. And with brandy being a type of alcohol, this also folds into its poison typing. Puppest's name comes from Puppy, Pest, and Pestilence. And 
and Bernoxic's name comes from Bernard, Toxic, and Noxious. Pumpest and Bernoxic have a sack on their throat full of incredibly toxic poison. One bite is enough to fell a Waylord in a matter of seconds. For the flying type, you know me, I love a good cloud motif, and there are plenty of floofy dogs that could combine with this idea, but the floofiest of all are the Pomeranian and the Chow Chow. So with that said, here is Pompous and Chowd. I gave them derpy names on purpose just to add to this cute factor, with Pompous being a mix of Pomeranian and Nimbus, and Chowd being, you know, Chow and Cloud. These designs also reference when you look up into the sky and try to see if clouds look like different animals. Pombus energetically play up in the clouds. They will chow down on rain clouds to stay hydrated, and are known to accidentally cause thunderstorms from the rockets they create while playing. Chowd, on the other hand, are much more relaxed and choose to spend their time gently floating in the sky, trying to stay away from any trouble on the land. Next up is the Psychic type. My thought process for a Psychic type doggo was naturally to use the smartest dog as a base, and that title is held by none other than the Border Collie. So put those elements together and you get Portigy and Mass Collie. Their names are based on Prodigy and Masquerade, but not just any Masquerade, it's based on a Masquerade! Yep, we brought in a Phantom of the Opera inspiration as well. The Phantom, whose real name is Eric, was a musical prodigy and genius who lived a sequestered life due to deformities he was born with, which he covers with a mask. Mascali reflects the Phantom in its mask and secondary ghost typing, and if you look closely at both Bordigy and Mascali, you can see that their snouts look like a creepy soulless eye. Bordigy are born with incredibly high intelligence. Some have even said they heard them speak to them. Mascali can turn thoughts into sound. It plays haunting melodies that can enchant any who listen to them. And that's a dog Pokemon of every type. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.